uh, Douglas Kellner. I'm a professor in the Department of Education and Information Studies at UCLA. And I've been doing cultural studies and teaching media literacy for uh, decades. Um, my colleague, Jeff Sharon, and I just wrote a book on a critical media literacy handbook where we distinguished between critical media literacy or what we call CML and just media literacy that mainly focuses on reading and interpreting media texts, maybe some of the values or meanings of critical media literacy interprets how media texts promote images of race, gender, sexuality, class, and therefore is a critical approach to media literacy, critiquing the way that the media promotes fascism, racism, sexism, homophobia, classism, et cetera. Now, in the coronavirus uh, pandemic, critical media literacy becomes very important because it's also a form of information literacy of how you can distinguish between true and false sources of information, good or bad information. This is particularly important during the pandemic because there's a lot of sources of misinformation in places like the United States and Brazil where there's been uh, a terrible outbreak of uh, COVID and many deaths, there are political leaders and people in the country that don't take the COVID seriously because they have misinformation. So here is a question where critical media literacy and information literacy is a matter of life and death. And that's what I wanna talk about uh, in your conference is critical media literacy in the time of COVID where media and information literacy is more important than ever. As I said, it's a matter of life.